Alright, well. It seems we're live. There we go. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Hello, hello. We're gonna give a few minutes, let everyone have a chance to join up for the beginning of Simulator Week, where we dive into some of the older simulators, along with uh, the ones we already have we, that we were doing, like Train Sam, uh, 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 Call of the Wild, The Angler, and things like that. And American Truck Sam, as always, for this week coming up week. And some surprise sims that haven't been on the channel yet. At least not fully. There's been like one or two episodes of like showcasing and trying to learn the game back when I first started it. But I didn't really totally, totally understand how to play those two games at that time. But after for a bit of time getting to actually sit down and play them for, uh, for simulator week and doing some scenarios of my own I'm actually can't not wait till we uh till we try out a uh, try out these two little surprises coming this week and my brain's a little a little kind of waking up it's been a late day late start but welcome welcome everyone yo first here welcome 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 back to the diner the, the space diner where we have only the best of meat, the best of meats for our burgers, and totally above board and not at all strange and bad, terrible things happening. <laughs> did you see the Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 trailer? Oh no, I did not. Holy crap, no. <laughs> There's a lot of trailers coming out that I've kind of missed because this kind of came out of nowhere, but it's that time of the year. <laughs> Where a lot of the trailers, especially gaming-wise, tend to all of a sudden kind of hop out. The rest would be in Cycle 2, which is the second half part of the year. We're getting the guns. Ooh! Not that I was good at the first game, to be fair. I really was terrible at Kingdom Come Deliverance. That's another game. We're not doing it for this cycle of simulators, because technically it is a simulator. I have thought about it. But... That's another one of those games, like, I need time to kind of just let it happen and screw up, or we're going to have to accept in our first playthrough that we're probably going to die <laughs> if we ever do Kingdom Come Deliverance 1 again, because we did try it at least once on the channel. I did terribly. Couldn't figure out what I wanted to do, how, we, how you really get anything done. I was trying to figure out how you learn, like, how do you earn... The attention of becoming a squire, if I remember correctly, in my last playthrough when we were first starting. Like, the goal was to try to become a knight, like the knight's tale kind of thing. But I don't remember what, what we were. I know we started as a blacksmith, I think. I can't remember how we were doing it. But, you see, more enemies, crossbows, armor is more historical now. That's cool. I do like that. I do feel like maybe that was maybe part of the issue is how common plate armor was in the first one. Because the enemies were just... Good luck in that game when you're trying to... When you have no prowess and your character has no idea how to use a sword. <laughs> it turns out that game is real, real hardcore when it comes to the realism of training your character to do certain things. And that's where I think we, I kind of, it messed me up and kind of where I kind of lost my taste to try to do the game for a little bit. Because I just, for some reason, had a hard time figuring out how to grasp what do I do to get here then. But, I've learned a lot from games like that now. That was ages ago too. That was before the way I do things now. So, I have a feeling I could do that game and enjoy it a lot better now. Also, mounted enemies from what I saw in the trailer. Ooh. Yeah, that wasn't in the first one either, yeah. 
They basically made it way harder, but way also probably more realistic in other terms as well now. Which I've, I've like I said, that's kind of what that game's meant to be, so good on them. That's awesome. I definitely, like I said, will be trying it out. Probably next cycle is what I'm going to plan on it. Because I've got... I want to make sure each cycle has at least its standing permanence for us on the channel. Like, the ones that will not really change from cycle to cycle. I'll give an example for Simulator. American Truck Simulator is going to always be during Simulator themes. So, things like that. But Godlike Burger here may not be. Like, it may not always be everything. The, the, uh, but, uh, the ones that are gonna be Titans, I wanna make sure they're good. I should have everything set up, but I wanna test it as we go forward during this week. Uh, and next week for Simulator. Especially with my two surprise Simulator games that I also screwed up on when we first started playing them. That are more strategy-based. Like, you don't actually physically walk around and stuff. You just run your country or kingdom. I'll put it that way. <laughs> and so, that'll be our surprise for, for this coming week. Two weeks, so. For this week and next week. Oh no, it's worse because you're fighting professional armies from Hungary and many German lords. Okay, well that might be kind of scary. Because I was, I was saying, since we're fighting, especially the German one, I... Ooh, ah. Ah. Yes, because that's what you want to hear. I need to fight a German knight. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny though but that's what that game's meant to be like I said I, I will by the time it comes out I should learn how I should have probably learned how to play Kingdom Come Deliverance 1 and we will have to have a disclaimer for that game just because of how realistic it is it does have some very dark settings because of what it's meant to represent as far as the simulator because it simulates medieval times and medieval times were not Game of Thrones over the top, but let's just say it was still pretty bad even in real life. <laughs> so, when, when it comes to just the way things were run, and especially if you had an overlord of a king, or things like that. Hell, even a, du even a duke, even if your duke was an overlord, it was pretty terrible. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> uh, so, yeah. We'll be uh, checking that out next simulator go around. Not the second one, of course. It's not out yet, but I want to be prepped if that's the case. Because that sounds fun. I do like we're kind of slowly going up towards the the more gun-like centuries where things like Pike and Shot were starting to slowly be burst into existence. Not fully yet, but, you know, close. Depends on how far that game wants to go. In KCD2, you start knowing how to fight, but you... But, well, you can... Wait. You start knowing how to fight, but, well, you can a sword, but someone... I think it must have cut out a word or tried to autocorrect that. But someone can shoot you with a hand cannon! Or a German knight. Yes, yeah, or a German knight would just mess me up in general. <laughs> But don't, even if you are slightly with prowess in the beginning of a game like that, don't, don't fight a German knight. That just seems stupid. You're not, even in normal first game, let's just, just wait till you become an actual knight yourself or something like that. Or shoot the knight. But you can use a sword. Yeah, that's what you meant. Yeah, that's what I meant to say, yeah. But I, I got what you meant, though, Farseer. But yeah, that's good, though. That makes it a little bit easier. They probably realize this is going to be more of a warlike setting. So they want you to at least have a somewhat more easier footing into combat. Whereas the first one you start as a blacksmith. Like, you you come from a blacksmith family, if I remember correctly, when the town is destroyed or raided by another kingdom or something like that. It's been a while. But, uh... That's why that start is so much harder. Unless there's a way to make a custom start. I never really... Is there a way to do that in Kingdom Come Deliverance? The first one? Are there custom starts where you don't have to be a blacksmith? Or is it always you're a blacksmith? 
Or a son of a blacksmith, I think, if I remember correctly. The old man knight from the first game was a menace. He was! He was. <laughs> Freaking. Alright. So we're gonna start a new game, chat. We're not gonna continue for where we left off because of how long it's been. And we're doing we have it set up differently. And I have way better controls now. Than when all this happened. That's also why I wanna revisit a lot of these. Because I didn't have another issue with the problem back then is I didn't really have the controls I needed to truly play that game like I would want because of, you know, my setup and my with my disability. But now that I have the access control, I can just make a custom setup for Kingdom Come Deliverance. Uh, now, I don't know, actually I'll have to see if I own it still. If I don't own it, it'll have to wait. Which, we're gonna discuss something very big that just happened recently. I'm gonna have to be changing my plans than what I originally did. I'm still gonna keep it on schedule because I've pushed this back so much that it's just, it's... If it goes any further at this point, I might as well not do a console side of my channel. Just because... If I have anybody left from my console side besides, you know, Tam King, I know he's there, but... It's since he plays games with me and stuff, he understands, but it's like, as far as my actual channel's existence... And the, the... All the other viewers out there that watch me on console that don't, you know, know me like that, that just watch my channel... It's not really fair to them. So, I'm taking a very major plunge next month. It's only going to be for that one month, because I have to save, immediately start saving money, money the next month in a larger amount for what's happened. So, yeah. my worst nightmare has been realized, and as y'all know, my van has been down. And it's had problems with its engine and the, the ga head gaskets and things like that. Hopefully it was going to just stay that way and maybe some slightly, like, core damage a little bit. But no. Turns out the internal... The, from what I... Uh, I'm, I don't know if I'm saying this right. And if I'm not, that's... Uh, it's, it's, point is, it's dead. <laughs> but I'll point out, I'll say that. But at least for now. Um... The internal cylinder walls were compromised. So, this means a new engine is required for my van now. So, that ain't happening by next month, let's just put it that way. That will not be in time for me to go and fix the current PS5. Because there'll be no way to get there. Because of where my shop is. And for the life of me, I cannot find anyone in Concord that will do this. I wish. <laughs> I really wish. But I've been, like, desperately looking around. Searching online. Just looking, looking, looking. Call it, like, calling here. Doing this. Checking reviews. Seeing what's what. And just nobody. It's weird. And I get why. It's because of the, the way... Sony handles certain things with their warranties and things like that. And I've even told them, the warranty's already been busted. There's no need for the worry about that. I, whatever happens, whatever happens at this point. I will be willing to take the risk, but no one will, no one will work with it. So. <sighs> so, this has left me with literally no options but one. This means new PS5. So. Luckily, I think they're we can get it for cheaper now, so I'll see if I can get a used one. <laughs> and I'll see what I what I can work with there. But to try to make it as cheap as possible. But I just to give y'all a heads up, that's what I have to do now. It means that the beginning of the month may not happen exactly on schedule like I planned either. Just because I have to I'm going to wait till the till I get all of my funds in one place and I have them and I know what I'm working with before I do anything else with them. Because I need to know how how and what this is going to mean. So um but I just wanna give y'all a heads up on that. 
that that is what we're going to be doing there. And it means that we're going to have to push themes back by a month as well, even on console. So, Final Fantasy is going back by a month. There were a couple that were going to be in that month at the same time because I would have been able to get away cheap enough to barely touch my funds and still get these other two games. But now that's not possible. So... It'll be, at best, literally just the PS5 and Tekken. So, even one of the fighters I wanted to do sadly won't be on the theme at first. It'll be, it'll have to really roped in the next swing around. So, which will be pushed back, like I said, by most likely a month for most of that, so. But we're at least going to stay on track with my original setup I wanted to do. We've got plenty of stuff I already owned on the console we never got to finish. Then we can at least do that. One thing about Final Fantasy I can still do, which we'll do that in the first roping of RPG themes, will be we'll start over on Remake. We were already going to do this anyways, so that doesn't affect me either or. Same thing with a certain shooter that's ultra violent that game is also doesn't get affected by this problem because i already own it and the dlcs so it doesn't get affected either thankfully it's just we just need tekken at this point just so we can have a decent lineup for some fighters i've got some throwaway fighters we can do to kind of fill in those gaps where tekken will be the main theme of that so but I was gonna make all of this a surprise, but I'd just rather let you guys know so you just think this kid, you know what's going on since things kind of went topsy turvy on me. So it can't be helped; it's just the way it way it happened. So, but just want to let you guys know. But that's my big announcement for today. We'll talk more about it as it gets a little closer, and if anyone has any questions, I'll elaborate more as well. But otherwise. We'll just leave it as the big announcement so y'all know to come to this episode. I'll do another one ep announcement when I do another multiplayer episode with James. For anyone who follows my multiplayers with James and stuff. So, Alrighty then. Let us start a new godlike burger and open up a new guardian diner. Let me read. Uh, actually, let me read chat before I start. No, but you can murder all the all the Cubans on the horseback by fin by lancing them with a sword. You know what? That's fine. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> and then Farzer said, "Engines are expensive. Like if a transmission can go three in, I can all yeah." Well, it was already gonna cost me twenty three hundred to fix the original problem. That was the original problem. That was before we found out the engine is just excuse my language. <laughs> <laughs> so, it was going to be 2300 originally. Now it's going to be a lot more. <laughs> uh, and it all ties back to something that said that happened a long time ago. But like I said, it's just not. It's out of me and my mom's hands. So, we just got to run with the punches and make it work. So, that's why I'm handling all this stuff on my side so it doesn't stress her out. And she can save up, and then once I get my thing situated and I'm stable on my end, I'm going to just not. We're going to spend very little. Like, each theme will have, at best, one game. And that will probably be per month for a little while. Just so I can save the max amount of money as fast as possible. So, the PS5 is the only thing, big chunk, we're going to afford out of this. At all. So... But you leave, that way you guys know what's going on ahead of time. But th thank goodness, and this is, I'm glad I've become better at my streaming. I will say that. And the way I do things. Because thank goodness I already kind of grabbed up a bunch of things on sale and things like that a little while ago when it comes to PC side. So it can help, as it always has, fill in parts of the gap. So. It's, it's ironic. It'll be a slow take to get the PS5 back in her seat of power. But the PC will be right there with it as always. <laughs> but anyways, let us start the game. We are just going to erase our old one. I know it has a lot of money in it, but... I just, I'd rather start over now with new controls, so... 
let us go. The galaxy and its wonders. As we settle on a quaint little trash planet. Oh, that made that just brought it just made me think of a song. <laughs> uh sleepily in our little RV. We wonder if our one leg <laughs> did not realize we were one leg and now that I think about it. Looking back on our dad's recipes and our family's history and how fun it used to be. The tool. No, this is either my dad or me. This actually might be our, our character. Until I was thrown out by my boss. Out on the street of the trash world. Trash planet. <laughs> <laughs> Where I had to become a traveling clown. <laughs> to try to keep pay to keep my little trailer up and running. And I'd have to live on the street. I even had tried I even tried my hand in chemistry and science. It did not go very well. Until one day I had nothing left. No job, no nothing. I was bullied on the street by the alien menace. Thrown off the democracy world. <laughs> <laughs> Remembering the good old days when I was young and I made burgers with my mother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot how crazy this story is. Cause it makes sense with how dark and insane this story is, too. I looked up at the stars, out of the vast galaxy. Thought. You know what? I'm gonna open up a diner <laughs> and relive my mother's dream as a burger shop or grandmother, not grandmother. My grandmother's burger shop. As we used to flip patties all day, ketchup and mustard and tomatoes, lettuce and onions. Serve to the customers of, of the casino galaxies. So one day my mother had a heart attack. <laughs> or probably it was poison to be fair. It was probably the Zeno's. <laughs> the Zeno's poison. My mother, we're gonna, we're gonna go with that. They poisoned my grandmother. And she died. And they closed down her shop. Left to me. So I pack up and I head to the shop and I decide it's time to relive my mother and my grandmother's legacy. So I sat at my desk, sharpening my cleaver. Not, not cooking burgers and knowing how to make them at all. Terrible designs and terrible burgers. I opened up the shop. For what they didn't know. While they consumed their burgers. And threw up. So I was not a chef. <laughs> Hated the burgers and threw tomatoes at me <laughs> and onions and what looks like maybe an axe. <laughs> and the uh, what would you call him? The galactic mayor became furious with rage. And zapped all the customers with his psionic powers. <laughs> this, this, this took a weird turn. 
I mean, I knew it was gonna, but I wasn't expecting it to happen like that. <laughs> and flung, and uh, by zapping the customers and flinging cutlery in my shop. All around. Where then he threatened me and hold me hostage. And told me, you will make the most perfect burger. And work for my empire. That's the, my company of empire that so serves thousands across the galaxy. You will make them out of. I know. Oh no! He gives me a choice. Sorry, I did that, that. Some of these panels are a little hard to read. He gives me a choice: death or burger service under making the proper burger for me. I choose burger service. He drops me to the ground. Customers slain and thrown about my my shop. With <laughs> with what's left of them raiding the vending machines. And my overdue bills piling up. No ingredients to work with. A meat grinder that's still in good working order. I realize. I have meat at my disposal! <laughs> I was wondering when I was gonna do it. We will make the perfect burger, and it's right under our noses. That took a second. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got. Let's see. Steam sales are always a godsend when you're on a budget. So is Game Pass. <laughs> Game Pass has also filled in some of those gaps. I love Game Pass. PlayStation Plus is going to help us with that, though. There are some simulators on PlayStation Plus. That did just drop that I'm immediate actually. I should go add it to my library tonight. Oh, also I'll fill it fill you in, Tam King, real quick if you missed what we talked about in a short term version. Hey y'all, this is a fun little game. It's currently 80% off. <laughs> See, look at that. On PSN, it's only three quid. I normally jump at that price, but I'm betting it will drop on PS Extra very soon. And I'm a cheap bastard. No, trust me, don't, you're, you're fine, Tam King. You're definitely doing the right thing. Pro it probably will come to PS Plus, to be fair, or Extra, rather. I need to stop calling it that. PS Extra and uh, Prime or Premium, whatever all the ones are. Um, I pay for it, but I haven't played in so long. I forgot the name of all the, sir, the uh, levels of PlayStation. Um, but, uh... For a short term to fill you in, Tempke, welcome, welcome. My fan's engine is dead. I have to buy a new engine. And also now a new PS5 because I'm not going to be able to go fix the PlayStation next month. So now my only option is to buy a new PS5. That's the short term version. If you want more details on what happened, I, I, I did give a big update at the beginning of the stream if you want to check it out. I... It's a lot to explain, so I don't want to go into it too, too much. But I will say short-term version for anybody. Yep, fans engine is dead, and I'm having to get a new one. So this means now... Uh... I have to do things a little differently. So budget is definitely a smart decision. So, but speaking of, of games on Extra, which I'll add it to my library tonight. Dave the Diver is on PlayStation Extra. So I will be picking it up for our simulator side of console things for future future prepping, considering what's happened. Because this, like I said, like I was telling everybody, this is gonna push certain things back quite hard because of I won't have the budget I had originally. So fighting game week, as it starts off when we do PS5, the only new game I'm gonna be able to get for now is Tekken. Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter will have to wait. So, uh, that sucks, man. Hope you get it sorted. Uh, yeah, it's 
new engines aren't cheap. It was already going to cost me $2,300 $2, to fix the original problem that was wrong with it. Now that it actually needs a new engine, and eh, that number got a lot higher. Like, a lot higher. So, this means... Uh, this also means a few, the months after next month are also going to be very budgeted. So we're going to get one new game, maybe two at best, per month. So that way we keep a lot of my money, so that way I can get this sorted really quickly. But yeah, there's no point in getting the old one fixed now at this point, so. And I, I've worked, like I said, I've went around a lot trying to find someone to see if they'd fix it for me, but nobody... Nobody will touch it even when I tell them, Oh, it's, it's already had broken warranty. I'm not worried about all that. I'm willing to take the risk if it'll actually work and it'll be a cheaper price than buying a new one. Which, the average price for fixing a liquid metal issue is around 100 to 120. That's the highest. To the low side being around $80. So, it was, still would have been cheaper, but... Like I said, we'll work it out either way. It'll work. It'll find. It'll work out. But just to let you all know what's going on. But yeah, welcome, welcome, Tam King. But yeah, this game is fantastic. If it does end up on extra, I do recommend playing it. No, I, I, I will say I'd even, I would probably get it for the three bucks if I didn't already own it. Just because that's cheap. But welcome to the Good Burger Restaurant. Want to be a chef of this place? Then a couple of lessons will sure come in handy. If during this tutorial you can't remember what to do, accidentally skip the step or just open the pause menu. Look, your first customer. You will find the queue items up here. We're going to skip a lot of this because I already know how to do this and we're going to just kind of blow through this. Sir, you need a burger, sir? Alright, let's go get you a burger. You need some burger? Some mystery meat burger? Yes. Raw meat will grill in the grill burger. It won't let me do anything yet. Wizard! Welcome, welcome back! Can you smell it? The patty is fried. Now take the cooked meat off the stove before it gets burnt. Otherwise, we will need to use the trash can. Yes. Access control makes this so much, so much faster. Cool, now it's time to get to the fridge and get the ingredients. And make us a burger. Oh no, the table is broke! <coughs> yeah, yeah. Right now, serve the burger! Burger served! Yeah, I, I love this game too. This game is very fun, and now that we're able to properly play it, and it's a part of Simulator Week, we've got Simulator Week coming up, so we're gonna be doing nothing but simulators for this week and next week. Then we'll put up another vote for the next theme. You can increase speed by doing this. Or not. Remember to use xenomorph acid to get rid of the unnecessary fabric and accessories the space police might find. I will. Agreed. There actually is a sauce in here that does that. <laughs> so. <laughs> Customer has finished eating. Now you will rate your service. These are the service ratings. We're skipping the tutorial just because I already know how to play this. I just went through this earlier just to make sure controls were working properly. Open your guidebook. The guidebook contains information about each customer who visited the restaurant. These are the elements of their name and appearance. What body parts and meat you can you can procure from the tog from the customer. This is their health meter, their karma, their damage they do to you, and how much tips they can leave. This is the place you can mark the foods and types of meats they like to eat. They, each customer can eat up to four types of meat. This is where, what types of sauces and traps and damage they're immune to. You find that out by doing certain types of damage to them. Observe the customer's activity and add them to the section. This is where you mark what customers like what activities in your restaurant to distract them or lure them into traps. That was my added flair. Alright. 
go to the radio and change the song. I like this one. Looks like the customer is going to leave. Wait or speed up time. Turn anyone who doesn't tip into burgers. That is one of the strategies. A good strategy is to pick a, pick at least a couple. Like, see how many customers you're serving every day. Like, how much meat you're on average having to cook. And then you base it on percentage. I found a really cheesy way to avoid being noticed. And still kind of maintaining until you get traps up and running. Once traps up and are up and running, it becomes way more self-sufficient. And the restaurant just takes off. And so does your meat supply. Each time a customer is leaving the restaurant, you will gain or lose prestige points depending on the quality of the burger and the service they give. But remember, only customers who left the restaurant alive can give you a rating. So if you know a customer is going to give you a bad rating, maybe they should... You know, disappear into the back alleys. <laughs> also, prestige scale points affect the amount of customers you will come to your restaurant and allow you to travel to new worlds. And here's a good example, by the way. New Wave. Higher prestige scale means more guests. For each planet, and the for each planet, for each planet, the influence of prestige scale on the number of customers will be different. But they will always come from the teleporters in your parking lot. All customers in the restaurant do uh will be doing something: smoking, dancing, ordering, etc. They choose act activities at random, but each race has its own preferences and what they prefer to do. You should study them and find the perfect moment. Secure more product. Let's wait until all customers enter and decide what to do. <laughs> Tell Waylon what you're doing. What you're doing finds you'll get all the funding you can ever dream of. I'm pretty sure that's who, who our who our overlord guy is. The guy with the floating planet with the tutorial. The guy who started all this. I'm pretty sure he's Waylon. Like, this is our Waylon. I mean, he's even wearing a weird kind of Thai businessy suit. He's just an alien himself in this case. This is what... No. This is the Waylon universe that Waylon ever wanted. This Waylon's already part Xeno. He's clearly made himself part alien. And probably multiple aliens from the look of it. This is definitely Zaylon's... Waylon's... Zaylon. This is Waylon's dream universe and alternate reality. L looks like we have a freeloader. One of your customers did not even pay us and did not even order anything. See, that's like Tam King said. Did not even order anything and is just watching one of the shows. No, he's just watching a Slaness show. Move to the VIP room and get rid of the parasite. And show what happens to non-paying customers. In this case, we don't we don't kill him, but in normal cases, you would want to do that. And then wait till everyone's not in this area over here. Clean yourself up and get to serving the customers. This is the Slanesh room. Also, something I didn't notice because I wasn't as keen and as confident and as good as noticing things in my around my reality with the way I do things. This room is purple. Just note that. <laughs> there's, 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 there he is now. It's time to teach him a lesson. Get closer to him and use the following uh, input to kick his ass. And get him out of your restaurant. <clears throat> Bow. <clears throat> Annoyed customers will, de will decrease your prestige scale after they have left the restaurant. Or if they leave the rest. Oh, hello. But now, uh, but right now, let's focus on the rest of the customers' orders. Let's go to the fridge and start making some burgers. Ah, uh, here we go. As you may have noticed, new customers have gotten asked for burgers with sauce. 
It's a good way to... It's, a, it's good that we have a couple lying around. It, uh, and that indicates that at the top left you'll see a little sauce icon above where the patty is on the burger. It doesn't matter what sauce you put on it because the sauces are more for our benefit when they ask for stuff like that. Hello. When you get done, you can drop off Pepsi, please. Uh, yeah, so skip that. So let's make the meats first. Barbecue face hugger, yes. Now we need the sauces. Let's go ahead and do the uh, stuff here. So we want that's the tomato. Oh, did it accidentally put all of them on it? It did. Damn it. Hold on. I gotta redo it real quick. So we want the tomato one first. We'll have to reheat the meat back up, though. Yeah, it'll have to be heated back up. That's fine. Uh, then we want cheese. I forgot you can't do that. That's the one thing you can't stack is ingredients. Let's get the sauces while we wait. Put that one on that one. We gotta hurry up. Cause I wasted time right there. Alright, now... We want tomato is number two. Cheese is number th oh no three. Almost accidentally hit the wrong button. All right, now we're waiting for them to do that. Question to y'all: What's some of the most exotic slash strange thing you've ever ate? Uh, crocodile. Or is it alligator? One of those two. It's one of those. Well, I, I mean, I know, I, I, to me, that's most rare because I, I've eaten lots of sushi types like eels, things like that. I've eaten crawfish, lobster, strange things. Yeah, the only thing I haven't had is like octopus legs, things like that. Never tried one. Actually, no. Well, I say that I've had a. I've tried calamari, but I've never had legs themselves, I don't think. Let's see, uh, when burgers with sauce are eaten by customers, a sauce timer will appear next to the customer's queue. Let's wait and see what the sauce effect does when it kicks in, and what terrible consequences may occur to the customers. I've had ostrich slash croc slash kangaroo in burger form. I've never had the other two, ostrich or kangaroo. But I've had, like like I said, the, the croc slash alligator stuff. Oh, there it is. The sauce timer is finished and the effect will start showing on the customer. You have used the sauce timer. So yellow forces customers to go take a smoke break. Light blue forces the customer to have to use the toilet. First, let's visit the customer who has eaten the last sauce, which we will find in the toilet, obviously. Looks like there are no witnesses here. So it's time to kill. But before the fight, let's take a look at the main stats of the chef. Your health value. Each customer has damage, which can be find in your found in the guidebook, so you can see how much damage will be dealt to you. Some customers won't fight back at all. Stamina is the value spending uh, you spend on each cleaver swing and kick. Keep that in mind when you are starting a fight. Stamina restores over time. So now you can start a fight with the, with the customer using the following controls. Mine is different, but it's like... <laughs> Alright. Cool, now he is dead. But you can but you are covered in blood and there's a corpse never. That can be bad. Let's take a deep breath and talk about the situation. 
As you can see, you are still covered in blood and there is a corpse near you. Let's see what will happen when other customers notice this. <laughs> Let's see. Pretty sure this game is based on the average McDonald's at 2 a.m. in the morning, lol. Could be. <laughs> Who knows? No one knows what that mystery meat is. The, the, what do they call it? The pink slime? I'm scared. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> that guy has run away in panic, of course. He will report you to the police uh, what he thinks uh, happened here. For that, you will receive one police badge. This one looks tougher and more aggressive than the previous guest. Let's observe what will happen after he gets suspicious. Oops, he became aggressive. A red circle has appeared around the customer. It indicates his danger zone. His danger zone! <laughs> when reaching that threshold means he will f a fight will start. And the customer will call the police rather than run away. It, oh, it will mean a fight will start if you stay in the zone. After a customer has called the cops, you will get max police badges. Soon after that, the restaurant will be subjected to a police raid. Which the police in this universe for some reason look like goblins. Space goblins. Not sure why. When the police patrol arrives, you will see a patrol progress bar. This bar indicates how long the police patrol is going to search your restaurant. Each cop in the patrol will start investigations, looking for anything suspicious. If any cop from the police patrol will notice anything suspicious, or swing of a cleaver, etc., he will immediately become aggressive and you will definitely call his fellow officers. It's also apt that there are goblins beating me up in this universe since I like goblins in games a lot. And I use goblins in a lot of my strategies. You can ask James. He knows that from Magic the Gathering. <laughs> and a lot of other things. If that if, if I don't have Xenos, usually goblins. If that happens, the chef will most likely be killed and after death. And after death, all neat money, prestige, and quest progress will be lost. We don't want that, right? So now it's time to cover your tracks. First, let's remove the corpse. So nobody will find it. Got a whole day over it. A removed body does not immediately become a cutlet. First, it goes through the meat processor. You can see the processing progress in the queue line. When the meat processor finishes, raw meat and other pots will be pro automatically deposited to your fridge. Next step is to wash off the blood. For that, you need a sink. Which takes a while unless you upgrade it. Nice one. Moving on to the second customer. Moving on to the second customer who had the nicotine sauce. Who has been hanging around in the backyard for a smoke break? Go and demonstrate how smoking may be bad for your health. Mm. We will deal with this a little differently. In order to take out a customer unnoticed and without any mess, it is better to use traps. We have one in the backyard already. Go there and act. Bang! The customer is down. After the activation of traps, are, there are, they are on cooldown before they can be used again. And since there is no mess on your clothes, all that's left is to get rid of the product. Nice! Seems like we have cleaned everything up and that's enough for today since this day will end. Noise, congrats. You completed your first day. Upon completing each day, 
you will receive statistics displaying how well you did. Now it's time to check out the basement. <laughs> a, a thing you don't normally want to hear every day. Yo, we were a little slow, but that's alright. Continue. Hey, don't diss the Orc Police Department. They throw their Gretchens out of their car with pride. <laughs> that's good, I like that. <laughs> Welcome to the basement. This is the operation center of your restaurant. Let's see what you can find here. First, let's go to the office. We Technically, we've done this already in this series before. But once again, I'm going to be a little bit better about it. Faster, and a little flarier with it. <laughs> Inside the office, you can find your quest pad, newspaper, book of complaints, safe, and your computer. Each of these objects has its own, uh, own function. But right now, we need the computer. It's gonna show us what all those do anyways. Using the computer, you can buy ingredients, kitchen upgrades, chef upgrades, guidebook info on your customers, sauce recipes, uh, in sauce recipes. Let's, uh, next let's move to the quest pad after you've got taken a look around for yourself. Which, if you wanted to, if you were, this is your first time, you want to go through, kind of see what there is. This this tells us this buys stuff for our guidebook, just to get pre-information, meaning we don't have to fight them or do things like that to learn what they do. And of course, sauce recipes for learning how to uh, have advantages and luring them into traps. Here you can find a list of, ta of tasks tied to different planets you need to accomplish. Each of them, each of them uh, accomplish uh, to travel to each of them. Every new session sets, uh, sets a new set of quests will be generated a new, uh, for each planet upon death. Making your new start slightly different each time. Also, you can open up the quest pad inside the restaurant and Take a look at the quest pad yourself, and then we'll talk more about traveling to new planets. For that, you will need to go to your cabin when you're ready. Alright. Yeah, this is, we can do that, but we can also access this at any time, so... We don't really need to do that. Make yourself comfortable inside your cabin. There are three panels here. Trap schematics, planet navigation, and the fun. Let's talk about each one, but start with planet navigation in the middle. This panel, uh, panel contains all information about each of the worlds you can visit, and, and what tasks you need to complete to go there, or whether you've completed the task to go there or not. Required quests you will also need, and certain amounts of prestige points and money you need to fly there, because you need fuel if you want to go anywhere. Why even fly to another world, you ask? There are several reasons, in fact. All places have different resources, wealth levels, operating expenses, and how much the local departments will ignore some of your acts. Check out which planets are ready for your arrival, then let's move on to the phone. Which none, because we've completed no quests and we have no fame. So. First and foremost, the phone panel allows you to pay your bills. You should be aware of this because otherwise debt collectors from my company will come and visit your restaurant. Another great thing about the phone panel is that you can bribe the local departments. You should uh, do that if your attention is getting a little too high on certain worlds. Once again, check the panel yourself and let's move to the trap schematics. So yeah, this is, um, you don't have to pay it right now. We're going to wait one day so we can make max amount of money. It's the meta for this game. It's only going to go up slightly tomorrow. And we have until 500 when the first goon will come and beat me up from Whalen. <laughs> and here, this is the price to clear out all the attention and decrease by one. Basically, kind of Grand Theft Auto ways of kind of getting it down. Alright. 
On the Traps panel, you can buy and upgrade traps. And these purchases, similar to the computer store, will persist after your death. You may want to grab some warmer clothes, because after this panel, we'll go into the freezer. Yeah, and this is once again where all of them are. The first one we want to do is this, at some point. I'm actually going to spend that right now, but that's all we're going to get. Just to make the shotgun a little bit faster so we can use it a little bit more in the beginning. Or the back the backyard gun. Inside the freezer room, you will find the following devices. Your cryo capsule, your freezer, and the blender. The capsule will enable you to restart your session. Uh, will enable you no, the capsule will enable you to re to redesign yourself in one of my company labs and begin anew. The freezer shows you which ingredients you have left in your restaurant. But for now, we're interested in your blender. This device allows you to prepare sauces using customers' body parts and other resources and ingredients. New recipes can be bought at your computer. Once you're done with the blender, move on to the cryo capsule. We're gonna make one of these. Oh, cryo capsule. Using the cryo capsule, you can, e uh, you can either reserve your future self on one of the worlds you've visited, which means you will no longer have to accumulate money and prestige and complete new quests to come back to, your, to this previous world again. Or you can redesign yourself and give yourself a fresh start. With, in one of my many companies, in one of my many company redesign capsules. Yet there is a way to avoid death. At the computer, you can buy a second chance, which will allow your chef to receive the finest of medical treatments, keeping you alive for at least one more day. You can buy them indefinitely, but each death will consume one of these many medical passes. Now we had that we have checked out all the essentials, you can explore the rest by yourself. Try finding the other uh, devices that are interactable. They are marked in yellowish color and should be easy to spot. And when you are done, go upstairs and leave your basement and start the day anew. All right, let's do that. We're gonna do at least one day. At the end, of, at the end of the tutorial, all money ingredients, purchases, and other any other progress from the tutorial will be reset but with your new skills oh that's right so we don't get to keep the nick the sauces i don't think but we'll see but with your new skills you will get all that back in no time new day we could change our look back right back there by the way but we're not gonna worry about that all right i begin my journey as, uh, as I stay, hover in orbit with my grandmother's restaurant above. Trash planet! Home to the indigenous Molzino people. The Tarat. They are not the most intelligent of creatures. But, I find that they will make very good basic resource when it comes to your standard patty. So I have decided that this will be my first world to establish a basic supply chain. Hey, Chronic Gaming, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Godlike Burger, which is a space burger shop diner simulator where we totally don't, do, you know cause our customers to have accidents and add them into the burgers. Yeah. Wow, wow. Day one. Pepsi, huh? Oh, hey. I want one, but I... <laughs> give me a tiny bite. I can't have a whole one right now. 
Also, I need some protein, please. I'll have to drink my other one. I'm out of this one. Let me see. But yeah, welcome, Chronic Gaming. All right, day one. Let's start up. Let's start cooking some food up. Uh, that we can at least. This one is also onions. 
Alright, this next customer coming in, we're gonna... Uh, is there the last one? Or, yeah, last wave. Perfect. Uh, onions is number nine. Let's see if we can make some money on them, though. Just get max profit. <laughs> One cheese. Here, hold on, 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 I don't have to do that. Oh, oh shit, sure. alright, well. <coughs> some reputation but we made a rank A. Long as no one caught us that's all that that's all that matters. <laughs> we made an A rank on our first day. That was actually pretty good. We made six hundred and seventy two dollars. Yeah I'm a lot better at this than I was last time. <laughs> Alright, first things first is ingredients. Let's buy like four more buttons. Twelve seems to be a good number. Keeping these at ten seems fine. chance of breakdowns? Let's go ahead and do that early. Yeah, that seems like a really good early thing to do, where we have no breakdowns at all, where I don't have to keep kicking, we can just keep moving. The next upgrade I want to focus on, because we're going to need supply. My shotgun. Okay, we need motion sensor, 300, okay. So we'll buy one cooldown for now. Either there or that, like I did last time. Um, 
Yeah, this doesn't cost me money, so might as well. Alright, next day. Oh. Oh yeah, so, well, yeah, we have to complete different things. Exclusive, whoa. Makes me, uh, have a Slanashi rainbow on my, uh... That's kinda cool looking. I'm gonna go with that. Next day. Soon. Across the galaxy, as I knew it. As I, as I, as, as I knew it, the, the reviewer would come, there, it would, would come one day, to judge my burger's quality and its meat. So today, I found out. What's that day? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Today's special. Critics visit. Times five, any prestige changes from critics. Time to panic. Critics have, be have begun paying attention to Good Burger Restaurant, and in addition to ordinary customer news uh, customers, newspaper newspaper hacks will also be visiting today. In disguise, of course. Should the chef serve any bad burgers, the critic will lower the prestige of our favorite restaurant to the very bottom. However, if the chef does everything right, and the article uh, the article may draw some attention to his eatery. Right. Critic is arriving. I don't think we have any. Oh, we do have some meat. We don't have much. We're gonna have to dip into our reserves a little bit today. We're definitely gonna have to like focus on now whoever goes into the areas, like the backyard especially. We need to go ahead and just preempt them and just not worry about their order. I need to change that first. Go see if anyone's harvestable somewhere. Not 
to hope someone goes in the back. Um, we have a we have a plane as well now. Oh no, wait, hold on. That's the reviewer. Sorry, reviewer. I was gonna let you go, but. seem to be okay with some of the review looking dudes or those octopus looking dudes that are coming. So we need this is plain. 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Ooh. 13 is what I do. Oh. Hold on. Actually that's 13. Hold on. We don't need that one anymore. Oh, that one got burnt. Okay, that needs to go on trash. Uh, we've got an extra meat. Oh, wow. The next, the de next day is going to have to be about harvesting. We're going to have to have a day of harvesting. Who's not served? We need a cheese. So I need to put you back. We need a cheese is what we need. We need another cheese, what we need. If we can get it served in time. So that would be 14. 15 is off the cheese. This might not happen in time. Fifteen's is also cheese, but I doubt we'll get that drift in time. So we'll prep for a plane. Yeah, and he's gonna go away. Yep, we're not gonna get him. Um, so we're gonna prep for our plane. Luckily, the other reviewer was served. So plane is 16. We didn't lose too much prestige. What the hell is this ID in there, I guess? That's fine. Actually, wait a minute. <laughs> I needed to be a motion sensor so I don't have to do it. Uh, motion sensor for now. We'll get auto remove what's it called next time. I don't want the cooldown to be too high. 
Motion sensor. Alright, this is where we're gonna have to buy a lot of these. So let's buy straight 12 of them again. We'll do 14, just to add a little extra. They're not that expensive, so. Alright, now that we're getting a little bit more risky, what I want to do now is put all of my money. Oh no, wait, let's pay bills first. And put the rest in there. Pay bills. Oh, I should like the other bill. There'd be a way to... Oh, there we go. I want to pay both of them off. There we go. I want it to be down to zero now. Alright, cool. Today's going to be mostly a hobby day. Put all of my money in here. Oh, wait, hold on. Cancel. Let's also make... Yeah, we've got to. It's fine. Start another new day. As the customers continue to go, uh, come and go as they please in my shop, in my burger store. They, uh, what the heck? How did that happen? They, uh, <laughs> they, they, they are now starting to seems to break down my restaurant with their rowdiness. The Tarat seem to have an issue with wanting to hide and throw that and have it broken. And the fancier ones seem to not know how to use it sometimes. Causing uh, tons of uh, plumbing problems and me having to uh, basically flooding the world full of toilet juice. Causing me to have to plumb my own, uh, my own toilets just to keep customers coming. Some of these are a little harder because these panels are really insane. Two times any prestige changes clogged toilets today. Here we go again. Sewage backups are common throughout the system. The good burger, alas, is no exception. If the chef does not want to lose twice the prestige points as usual, he should monitor the status of the toilets and clean them as necessary. If he is successful, the prestige points for each action will be doubled after all. In this situation, not many restaurants would be able to get away clean. Literally. New wave of birds already. Okay. I don't think I have. Oh no, I do have some meat. I did definitely get some of that from last time. Uh, we're not going to put anything on these yet because I want to try to get some early harvests. Hopefully the shotgun will do its duty pretty early. I could guarantee one with some... I have an idea. Let's use our first sauce. Put it on this one. So that will be our plain one. That's number two. He will be a little mad at me, but it's fine. And we want a cheese. This is our number one. Alright, now for number three, which is tomato. Let's get our buns out. Let's get our meat cooking again. Uh, how come the motion's in there now? That's... what? Uh... I have to turn it on. I will either way, we'll worry about it later. That means that screwed me up. It was supposed to work like that, but it did. If they're still there by the time I get done doing this, we're gonna go manually do this real quick. I gotta wait till they walk back through. Come on, sir. Oh, wait. Motion we will make it back through. There we go. Okay, what do we need order wise? We need a tomato. Just keep things flowing in the restaurant. Let's go clean up this thing. We'll 
Well, someone sees it. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 it's a bit inconvenient when two of them go out there, but, uh, you know. So our next two most impatient are six and seven. Yeah, six and seven, which are cheese and tomato. Ah, oh, crap, hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. <coughs> had no choice. Crap, they're gonna burn. I gotta grab the beats without being noticed. Woo! I'll be right back, gotta clean myself up. Oh crap. Okay, well this one's gonna have to die too, I guess. Damn it. <laughs> well this is a harvest day after all. Alright, cool. Oh no, okay, hold on. Oh no. Really? Alright, well, as long as we're gonna get some bad rep loss today, that's okay. Holy crap. As long as they don't report us, that's actually more important. We'll just have to let it go. Okay. Alright, what's our orders now? Do these have anything on them? No. So we need an onion and a cheese. Let's get onion first, because that's about to leave. Onion is nine. Cheese is ten. That was... Wow. Let's go clean that up real quick. Yeah, we definitely need the auto, the auto remover. Okay. Okay. Next is 11 and 13. Another one's going out there, but they should survive because there's still 30 seconds. So, tomato and tomato. Oh, I haven't cleaned the toilet, so they're using the toilet in the backyard. Whoopsies. Well, I'll fix it later. So, tomato for number 11. Tomato for 13. And let's go fix the toilets. <laughs> Alright, we have 14. Yeah, we got more coming in. Any measures of bodies out here? I'd rather just not get caught for that. Okay, we're good. Nothing's happening. Okay, cooking some meat. And then, so the next orders are ooh, cheese and. cheese and onion. Cheese. Should just be enough time for and I need yeah, I don't care about the business we love right now. Cheese is next. Is 14, get it right in time. Oh, onion, which is 16. We need one more cooking. 18, which is a plane. I see two more things. Okay. Okay. So a plane and a tomato. Plane, which is a rating. We're gonna get free supplies. Nice! 
least. That actually was really, that was actually a really successful day, to be fair. That got us a good money and some pre we didn't really lose any prestige, to be fair, hardly. I think only maybe one or two left. Disserviced, I guess you could say. Nice, noise, noise. That's a good start. How many days have we done? We're on day three. That's pretty good. I think we'll do one more day and then that's what we'll call it for this first revamp of this series. See if anything new gets added on the next day before we end it. Wait, why are they getting mad? Okay, well, I guess I might as well get one extra beast then. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, noise. An S rank, beautiful. We have, with, even with all the chaos, I ended up with an S rank. Our prestige is pretty good. Okay, so first, first things first again. Now we want auto removals, so that way it's automatically feeding them into the processor. So ingredients, again, we have two, ten, twelve. Bring everything back to ten. Check the bills. Pay the bill. Keep it at zero. Deposit the rest. Okay. One more day. One more day. See what happens now. I was, uh, I was starting to have so much surplus that I was starting to have leftovers rotting on the counter. It was getting hard to maintain all the different exotic ingredients that I was now procuring. So, uh, my competition, who could not keep up with me, began to realize they were never going to beat me in the burger industry. Forgot about these guys. So their plan was to kill me. No, not really. Their plan was to sabotage my industry. One day the Greys were angry and they were mad that I made better burgers than them. That's what I should have said. <laughs> and they decided to come try to sabotage my burger shop. So today's special, Rivals Visit. Two times payment for burgers. Oh, two times payment for burgers, plus one police attention for every stolen burger. Whoa, they changed how that works. What a scoop. We're hearing reports that uh, Laveries, our pea brain business executives, are up to their old tricks again. This time they want to learn good burgers trade secrets. Watch out, these little bastards are going to steal, ingre steal ingredients and even our mouth-watering juicy burgers right from under our noses. I'm sure the chef will do everything, in, everything he can to protect your food from these tiny pricks. So don't forget to tip. Alright. Oh yeah, we're, we got the food now. We got the food now. Restaurant starting to cook. We'll need a new oven soon. We'll need a new oven. Usually it's best to buy them at the same time to so just save for both. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me do this. Now. Let me go ahead and place the burgers down. Let me go. I activated vanity this time. Oh, you! No! Get out of here, sir! Stop trying to steal my burgers. 
Alright, our orders are onion and a plane. Okay. So onion's number one, plane is number three, because number two no longer exists. Get another. Oh. <laughs> Sidetrack in the ways, they're everywhere right now. Okay, now we need a cheese. Which I gotta hurry up and test that for six. I hear I see him. I see him, hold on. <coughs> Get out of here, okay. Uh cheese is number four. Uh tomato is number five. There's a, what's it called here? <laughs> Get out of here, Greg. <laughs> Six and seven. Okay. Okay, so six and seven. Oh, no, six is gone. So seven, um... A plane is seven. I've got to deal with this guy real quick. <coughs> uh, eight is onions. Nine is dead in here, so I'm going to get two more orders at least. Nine is nine. Is I shouldn't do that because I should just get it at, do it, make it to order. Just in case one of our customers walks backyard. <laughs> okay, so we're looking at onion and tomato. These episodes probably aren't going to be too, too long. Just because this game isn't one of those games that, you know, isn't going to be too, too different in the beginning. Especially until we start going to other worlds. It's going to be kind of similar. <laughs> Alright, next orders are 11 and 12, which is plain and cheese. So we need cheese. So plain is 11. Jesus, well. Okay. Got yeah, some more supply. <clears throat> we go check the toilets. They're not breaking out right today, no. Okay. That's already been. Oh, hold on. Let me put the meat somewhere. So, 14 is a plane, 13 is cheese. Please pay the rest, you already paid, hold on. Oh no, they're going in here. Let me see if I can get one of the paid ones into an area that nobody is. Like this guy. Uh oh, I need to run faster. Good. As long as you don't stick around them, unlike the corpses, it's not that bad. <laughs> I would 
got a lot of orders, so let's try to make two more, but we're out of buns, so the rest are gonna have to either be harvested or let go. Because <laughs> now I need to buy I need to buy twice as many buns now. Because we're actually doing really good. He's leaving. Let's let's cut down some of these orders. <laughs> Back to you in a second. Let's go check the meats. This is totally safe. Did I handle those like that? Okay, so we need uh, those are gonna go away. So Oh what? How did that happen? Oh, someone stole the one of the little grays stole something. That's alright. Probably a piece of meat. I've got plenty of them. We're gonna have to let our rep go down a little bit. Let's put these back since they're cooked. Noise. Yeah, we made a B that time, but that was more for, like I said, that was gonna just get us some extra money. We weren't trying to worry about rep on that one too hard, to be fair. Now we're almost a thousand already. So the one I want next, as far as harvesting is concerned, is this one. But we're gonna need a lot to make it automated right out the gate. So. So one will always be harvested. That's so weird. Uh, so this is the. So what's the Jeebus one? Blinds the victim, temporarily makes them unable to resist. Oh wow, that's for the tougher customers. Interesting. Game machine. That's a stun. That's a kill. That's a kill. If your dad doesn't clean it up, you have to turn that one up. That's done some ghost mirror. at an efficiency level that right now it's kind of okay. We're gonna buy like 20 this time. No, I need my buttons to be kind of up there in number. These seem to be okay at 10 at the moment. Um, 700, huh? We still got quite a lot. I do want I do want a toilet one. So let's purchase you. Let's auto remove right out the gate. And get cooldown on it. It won't trigger on its own. I'll have to go in there and trigger it while they're sitting there. But it'll make it a lot more efficient on gathering both two different sides of the restaurant. Alright. We are doing so much better now. Look how many parts we have! Wow! I can make a few of these! I make four. Holy crud! 18 meat, not bad, not bad. Two cooked meat, so 20 meat technically. Okay. Alright. So I assume it saves it. Let's see what it says. Let's see what happens. Let's see where it brings me. So do continue. Yeah, nice. So it saved me even buying those upgrades. Nice. 
day five already. We've already caught up with where we were, basically. Nice! That was a good little quick little look at uh, Godlike Burger. This is a fantastic little cartoony fun game. With a little bit of a darkness to it. But I am, I am quite excited about this. I, I, not, I, I can't say it enough. I was saying this a lot before, but every time I get able to come back to a game because of it, it just makes me say it again. Thank gosh for my access control. And DSX for when I need to use my regular PS PS5 control. It's either or. I, I, there's no game that I can't find one, one way or the other around it now. So, it's quite good. I, I do... I do enjoy it. I'm quite happy that it, uh... That it works that way. DSX has basically changed everything for me when it comes to like the way things work. Plus Steam itself, because Steam is compatible with the access control, so anything on Steam is automatically my access control. Plus my mouse. It's like having a mini keyboard with your mouse, which is always what I wanted. That's why I love this thing. It's made things so much more fun and a lot easier. That was so much more efficient. I did. I earned so much more money than the first time we did this game. We are already got almost two traps fully automated and ready to just keep giving us resources. <laughs> Reminds me of that game on PlayStation. Yeah, that's my other game. I can't play that because I can't. I once again don't have PS5. It will come back, by the way, during Simulator Week next next time once the PS5 is up and running next month. We are going to play that game again. I do want to go back and finish that game as well. I do know what game you're talking about. I forgot what it's called. What was it called? But yeah, it was basically like Sweeney Todd. It's like a Sweeney Todd simulator. The one you're talking about, where you basically have a barber shop, but you also have a... Uh, a meat shop underneath is it <laughs> that sells meat pies <laughs> during the uh, the plagues when food was very scarce and people took very terrible risks but yeah it's a uh, is a Welcome to Godlike Burger sponsored by Waylon with big investors like the Emperor's Children, Marathi, <laughs> OF, and Grimcore's Big Green Threads clothing line. <laughs> that was beautiful. Ah, uh, yes, that is exact. That is perfect, Foster. Perfect. <laughs> that was perfect. Don't forget Nurgle, too. Don't forget Nurgle's Children as well. They, they also. Unless that way, wait, isn't that impersonal? I know, Emperor's children are, might be her. I don't remember which is which, but like, don't forget the Nargle people. Don't leave them out. They'll definitely love this place. <laughs> oh, man, that is hilarious. Yes, definitely sponsored by Wayland. With the type of burgers we're making up in here, definitely sponsored. I w by the way, that new cycle game down there, is that an actual city builder or is that a phone game city builder by this developer, I wonder? If that's an actual city builder, I might actually see about that at some point down the road. It looks cool just by the pictures that I'm seeing. It's called New Cycle. I'll have to see if it's a phone game or like an actual like big, big full-size city builder. That looks cool. I like this developer, so it might have a cool, cool city builder I didn't know about. But yeah, we'll be checking out the game Tam King mentioned next once the console's up and running since I own it on console. But alright everyone, I wanna give a big shout out to Fossier, my moderator slash the Dark Elf representative. Uh, in this case, anyway, since there's no high elves that sponsor us, the Dark Elf representative of, uh, of the Marathi clan that, with, that sponsors us. <laughs> well, bye, all that. Also, one more thing, KCD2 improved the combat. Nice. That is something the first one is. Even when you do finally learn how to do it. <laughs> it's still pretty rough. 
that's good to hear. I'll definitely, once again, one next go around of simulators, we're gonna try that game again. We're gonna try KCD1 again. But thanks to big shout out to Foss here, and of course to Tim King as always, making sure we got plenty of ads out there advertising the burger shop, and it's fresh, always, always tasty burgers. <laughs> And until next time, big shout out always also to Chronic Gaming for joining in tonight, Wizard for joining in tonight, shout out to his channel as always, and as always a ma big mad shout out at Mad Lad James. Check out his channel and show him some love as well. He's, I think he's working today, uh, uh, so he, he's, gonna, he, uh, he's gonna be doing his streams probably later this weekend, whenever his next day, uh, day off is, which he's gonna be doing more of those. You may not always see us do multiplayer sometimes when he has his day off because his days off are so scattered. Sometimes he will be on his own so he can do his own thing as well. So, because he doesn't get a lot of time to do that. So, big shout out and show him some love as well. Old man is still gonna kick our ass in my opinion. He probably is. Imagine if he was still in his prime. I don't want to know what he was like in his prime. <laughs> that would. He kills us enough already. <laughs> but anyways, big shout out to everyone in chat. Hope you enjoy. I hope you're. Oh, by the way, Blood Bowl three. What? Oh. I miss my console. I miss my console. I miss my console. Soon. Soon. It's gonna happen. It's just gonna be a lot harder. At least I'll have extra to back me up. It sounds like in some ways. I'll add it to the library before it goes away. Thank you for letting me know, by the way, Tam King. I will add it to the library. So when we do get our console, I won't have to worry about not missing out on it. Hopefully. We'll definitely show that off when the console comes back. That'll be in our strategy, though. Actually, I don't know whether to throw that in simulator or strategy. It's a turn-based strategy game, but it's also a simulator, technically. But... <laughs> I need you to teach me the ways of the Blood Bowl. Oh, well, yeah, I can do that. I love Blood Bowl. The new one I heard was a little rough, but I still like it. It had some rough edges, but it seems like that got kind of patched out. So, it should be good now. Plus, all the new character design and models look really good. So, I'm British, so all I, so, so all I know is real football. <laughs> good point that's a very good point <laughs> but anyways thank you so much Tab King and to everyone out there hope you enjoyed and I hope you're enjoying simulator week it's gonna continue it till the end of next week and then we'll have a vote for the next theme once more so I hope y'all all enjoyed thank you so much a shout out to everybody and I will see you all in the next one bye everyone bye